I wrote this piece, Osbert Sitwell's, therefore is the name of it, called Babel, um, for my first year writing seminar uh, about the Great uh, War's legacy in literature. And it was uh, very interesting, mo mostly because of the context of it. So the fact that within the larger tradition on this time period, this um, great cataclysmic events obviously changed the way that people thought, especially um, literarily, about uh, the what it occurred in terms of human progress, in terms of what's to come next, in terms of how we think about the world and how you have to uh, go about your time in the world. And it was very uh, interesting to really delve deep into not only, obviously, the close reading explication of the text um, of Osbert Sewell's poem, but also the larger themes that are at play in all poetry and uh, literature of this period. Um, the first thing, obviously, to understand is uh, that I had to come to understand were, was um, the fact that up to 1914, there's this great uh, belief um, in the uh, progress and innovation and that humanity is making its way towards a greater um, state of being. And this permeated culture, and it's how people thought about cultures that, um, especially, obviously, European-wise, because that's where um, the seed of the world is at this point, um, people uh, thought about their lives in terms of the larger uh, British Empire or continental empires. And it, w it was a, a general sense that things were going well. It really can be summed up in. And then the Great War comes along and it's expected to be this quick event. It's expected to be over with and done with. Each side thinks that they, will, they have God on their side and they will win it soon. And this does not end up being the case. And that's where... Um, you suddenly you start to see this this great pessimistic strain come about um, from the the soldiers who actually need to fight who actually are there and so you don't see it, um, it, it so much in especially the British uh, civilian population but in the people who have to experience this warfare it's this new novel thing you have these new technologies um, gases like mustard gas you have um, these new uh, you have Gatling guns and these uh, these m methods of mass killing, bombings, obviously, which is what um, Osbert Sitwell's poem is most concerned with. Um, uh, you suddenly, the people who experience these things and see this warfare, whether they be continental civilians or soldiers who are fighting, they suddenly, uh, this, this, uh, this sense of world progress and this great illusion is broken, is utterly broken, and then obviously... Uh, the later strain of this after the world is done, the war is done, you have the lost generation and you have their writings, obviously this existential um, depression that uh, they fall into in the 1920s, uh, which is obviously a, a direct product of the Great War. But during the, the, the period of the war, you only have the people in the trenches mostly writing. So a lot of um, the writing is soldiers like Osbert Sitwell. He was in, um, uh, in a French regiment. Um, uh, didn't see a significant amount of warfare, but obviously enough to be able to write um, about his experiences and about what he saw and the capture the general tonal um, sentiment of the time period in that this is a terrible war. What have we done um, to ourselves to deserve this? Um, and it's obviously interesting that he puts this in terms of biblical language, which is another reason I chose to write about um, Osbert Sitwell's piece and that the idea of this um, grand testimony that maybe God was throwing down upon us um, for our, our sins and what we have done, um, it really resonated in this time. It must have for people looking on to looking to something, trying to make this all make sense. Uh, a biblical interpretation obviously would have been something that was ripe for use, and uh, Sitwell's is one of many different interpretations of this time period in an attempt to make it all make sense and maybe find some peace in this horrible destruction that the Great War is, um, this horrible uh, event. And it's really the interesting context to um, Osbert Sewell's piece and the large, every, every literary piece of this time period is the, uh, the way in which the world and literary figures try to cope with the horrible cataclysmic event that was the Great War.